Today we are going to learn how to create 3D house design using AutoCAD super fast. So I'm going to demonstrate to you all the, effect, the effective methods of AutoCAD in creating uh, 3D house design. So I'm going to start by using the polyline command just to draw the structure of the wall. So I'm going to take 10,000 as in 10 meter for this wall. For this wall is 8,000. For this wall, I'm going to take around 3,000 as in 3 meter. So this one is 1,000. So this part is 4,000. So now I'm just going to use my object snap track to complete the wall structure of this 3D house design. So, and then press escape to terminate the balance line. So I'm going to offset this particular wall with 300 mm distance. So I'm going to offset it first here. All right, press escape to cancel off that. Change my view to SE isometric view. All right, so I'm now I'm going to use the press pull command. So you can just type PRESS and press enter and select the inside the region of the wall when it, when the command is asking for a height so i'm just going to type 4000 as in as in 4 meter of the height of the wall structure okay and press escape to just terminate terminate off that so now i'm going to change my view to right view okay right view because i'm going to draw the roof for this particular 3D house design. So I'm still going to use my polyline command, PL enter, and then I'm going to mouse over here and just object snap track a little bit to the left, type 700 mm. All right, and then I'm just going to click here. I'm going to object snap track from the middle midpoint of this until here around 3 meter. And I'm going to object snap track from this part over here. All right, until around somewhere here. All right. And this one, I'm going to take 700 also. All right. And then I'm going to offset to type O enter with 300. So I'm going to offset this to the top. So I'm going to just use my normal line to close this particular part, close this particular part, okay? So you can double check whether your roof is okay by holding on your shift key, right? Holding on your shift key and press and hold on your scroll, mouse scroll key from your mouse and click and drag. So you can see the roof structure the cross section or the profile for your roof. So now I'm going to change to um, to top view, right? Top view. So I'm going to type move command, type M enter. Try to select this part and try also to select this part. Okay. And slightly move this profile slightly here. All right. So I'm going to move it there. So I'm going to change back to SC isometric view. All right. So uh, notice that this part is uh, located here, which is you have to move it back to here. So or you can just delete that first and build another line just to close this particular profile. All right. So I'm going to press pull this particular roof to the other side. So if you want to do that right uh, with no error, so better you change your UCS so that it matches to the roof itself. So I'm going to change my UCS so that it matches to the roof profile. Then I'm going to type PRESS just to launch the press pull command. So I'm going to press pull this roof until it reaches slightly here. All right. So you can change back to conceptual. So you can slightly orbit this to see. All right. Okay. Now, right. Um, I'm going to set my UCS by going to top view again and go to SE isometric again just to reset back my 
user coordinate coordinate system so I'm going to face extrude this particular wall until it reaches to the rooftop right so I'm going to click solid on the ribbon here and I'm going to open up this choose extrude face and select this part right and press enter press enter so when the command is asking for a height of extrusion I'm going to type 4000 because 4000 is higher than 3000 the height of the roof all right and then just press enter again when it is asking for an angle of taper of extrusion so just press enter for this and press escape okay so I'm going to change back uh, my view to right view right so I'm going to slice this part right so I just type SL enter for slice select this part enter click this point here click this point here and press enter select this portion portion or part and delete it so you can proceed in just typing SL select the wall structure press enter click here and click here press enter select this um, part over here and press delete go back to top view and change back to your SE isometric view all right so you can differentiate the roof and the wall structure by selecting the roof right click go to properties and just change the color of the roof uh, by using another color let's say yellow color all right so I'm going to change it to yellow color so now I'm going to slightly extrude the part of this particular wall all right around 500 mm so I want to draw a profile directly on this surface of the wall so I'm going to change back to uh, my visual style to wireframe I'm going to use my UCS command type UCS enter click here and click here click here so my UCS my X and Y exist is actually respective to this particular wall structure all right so I'm just holding on my shift key right and press and hold on on your mouse scroll key and click and drag all right so you can turn it around a little bit like this all right and I will launch the polyline command type PL enter so just click here I just click here click here just to create a profile for this all right so um, now I'm going to draw another profile, another line coming from here. Going here is 500. Okay. Going up like this is 4000. Okay. So I also I'm also going to draw another line here coming from here going to the left here uh, 500 and go up here is 4000. And I'm just going to connect this two okay this line all right so that uh, now the X Y and Z exist is actually respective to this wall so you can just type PRESS enter and just select this part all right and when it asks for an extrusion height so I'm just going to type 500 as in the thickness of this wall part over here so so I got my this part here extruded okay so you can see the extruded part is actually combined with the main part of the wall so uh, I wish to actually separate that so I'm just going to go to top view alright so this part right I want I wish to separate this part so I just type SL enter select this part enter click over here click over here to define the margin for the slice enter alright so now it is slice so this particular part is actually is a is a separated um, from the wall structure itself all right so I just need to select this right click go to properties and change the color just to differentiate differentiate that extruded part of the wall so I'm just go back to conceptual so let's say you want to draw a door on this particular part so um, you can go back to wireframe again so just make sure that your UCS is actually respective to the main wall that UCS go here so you can see I'm using the UCS command to actually uh, change my XYZ exists so that it is respective to the surface 
of the wall that I'm going to draw uh, any profile on that particular surface. So I'm just going to type uh, rectangle, type REC, enter, just to create the wall. Sorry, just to create the door cross section here. Let's say the door starts somewhere over here. So I'm just going to draw this particular door, something like this, okay? This size. So I'm just going to type PRESS, enter. Click this particular rectangle or the cross section and just extrude this particular part around here just to create a cutout. All right, a cutout of this particular door. All right. So if this, if it is going that way, right, uh, it should be cut out automatically while doing it. Okay. All right. So you just press UCS Enter again, just to make sure that your UCS is actually correct. All right. And type PRESS, enter, select this part and slightly extrude it inside. So you can see it will be a cutout here automatically, right? So you go back to conceptual, you can see there is a cutout there. So if you wish to create the frame for the door, right, you can just go back to wireframe, right? And just type PL, enter, and just kind of digital trace this particular door here like this type o enter so i'm just going to create the frame of the door itself all right so i just type l enter just to close that part all right and i'll type um, extrude command type ext enter and select this part okay sometimes it does not detect the region right you can use press pull command which is much more efficient so I'm just use press pull command right and just type 50 just to create some thickness all right on that particular frame so you can see that the frame right is actually combined with the wall itself so you can just go back to um, top view right and you can just type SL enter Select this and click on this part and this part just to slice out. All right, this particular frame over here. All right, so so I can I can even select this particular frame. Right click, go under properties and change to another color just to differentiate the door door frame right with the wall. So now I'm going to draw for the window part over here so you can use a rectangle command to do that so you got to make sure your UCS is really respective to the wall which you want to draw the window at all right so you can just type REC you can, you can see uh, the rectangle should be aligned with the height of the door right so I'm just going to draw some like this all right, and then I'm going to copy this, right? Copy this. Let's say I'm going to put it here. Then I'm going to type PRESS, right? Just to click. All right, so you can, I'm just going to type UCS again just to make sure that it's going that way. Just type PRESS. Just click here. I'm going to put my UCS directly on the window itself so that AutoCAD won't make uh, the same mistake, right? So there's something wrong here, so I'm going to delete back the rectangle. Type UCS again, all right? Just click here, click here, and click here. All right, so I'm going to type REC enter. So I'm going to draw the window somewhere over here. All right, I'm going to copy this. 
Okay, put it somewhere over here. So I'm going to type PRESS. Alright, and just press pull it. Just to create the cutout of the window itself. So you've then actually created the window part over here. So the same method that you're going to use if you want to create the frame for the window. So you can just go to wireframe, just type REC enter, just kind of digital trace the window. Right? Just type REC enter to digital trace the window. And type offset command, type 100. Right? Okay, so you get the window something like this, the frame of it. So you can just type press pull command, just mouse over this region over here, just type 50, just to get some thickness of the frame. Just type 50. Alright. So notice that when you use press pull command, right, the frame that you created is something like this. So you need to um, differentiate right the window itself the window frame itself by selecting the window frame go to right right click properties you can change it to another color just to differentiate that so if you want to draw any cross section or any profile on this particular wall right you can just change the UCS face that like UCS enter just change it like this this like that Alright, so if you want to see better, you can use 2D wireframe. So you just type REC enter like this. Okay, I'm getting the cross section out on that particular surface. And then you can use the press pull command, right, just to create the cutout. Okay, for that particular window part. So I'm just going to change my UCS here. And type rectangle here and try to um, draw the window part over here and I can slightly move it also if it goes a little bit center like this and just type press pull command just to create the cutout of that particular window so there you go this is how to create 3d house design super fast thank you very much